Hello everyone, welcome back to Sim Airport. I've been going through and looking around at a couple of things and, you know, I think what I want to do today is want to go in and add flights into all of these. <laughs> it's it's going to be a lot of flights, uh, but here's, here's the deal though. We have at our disposal the ability to go in and assign like these three right here. We can take these gates and assign it to this ticketing area. These gates can be assigned to this ticketing area. And then of course we have these four gates that we can assign to this ticketing area. Um, it's actually going to help out a lot in the sense of ensuring customer traffic flow. Oh my God, I'm realizing I'm just seeing something right now and this is absolutely horrible. Oh, Jesus. What is going on over here? Are the janitors not getting in here? Or do I just, I probably don't have enough. <laughs> wow, what? A freaking mess. I have two janitors. Okay, give me like 10. Give me 10 janitors. Oh my god, I hope they can clean this up. What a filthy freaking mess. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh man. Okay, well, we'll just hope and pray that these 10 janitors that are, or eight janitors that I just hired can get that cleaned up. So anyway. Like I said, we'll get those assigned to there. These are going to get assigned to over here. So we'll go assign to that, this one to that, and this one to that. I really do like that we can assign these to certain ticketing areas because it actually helps a lot. <laughs> it really does. Oh, you know what I just realized? We can't do that yet. I mean, we can. You know, we're, we're assigned to those areas, but... Here's the, here's the thing. I don't have any way of really easily getting luggage over here. Um, I think what I want to do is, let's do this. Let's go into this and we'll go to a hanger. We'll do a medium hanger. Medium hanger actually fits very well right here. Okay. I like that. Um, so we'll do a medium hanger there and then I'll do another medium hanger say here oh let's see now we need a baggage depot so the baggage depot baggage depot is gonna go oh good it, it is small enough nice all right so i can put a baggage depot there and a baggage depot here okay so that means and i love this they they did this to where I don't know if this was like an, an update or something, but I know this wasn't like this before, but we can now actually see where our taxiways and everything are, which I love. I absolutely love. Um, I still want to go in, though, to the planning and I want to. Well, I guess I don't really have to. No, I don't. I mean, I still want to get in. Let's see. Let's go seven. Eight, nine. Is it three? Do I need to be three across or is it four across? No, it's three across in order to get that in here. Okay. And then it's nine. Eh, let's go like 11. 10, 11. Okay. Okay, so here's what concerns me now. We've got... Okay, I've got a baggage hub here. I'm going to have to have, let's see, we'll add in, let me see, where is this, where is this at? This is here. Okay, so we'll do 3 by 11 there. Okay. All right, so now, obviously, I'm not going to have this, this is not going to connect up. <laughs> this is not going to connect up very well. Um, I could have, I could probably move this to hook up to a, here. Um, figuring out the logistics of this is going to be interesting. So give me a couple minutes on this. All right. This actually wasn't too terribly hard to figure out. 
Uh, basically, I've got um, my magenta is is going to be the lines that I have connecting everything. Um, I'm going to have to, you know, deconstruct a little bit, but I've already laid the foundation in here and kind of placed like the baggage hub where I want it to go there and here. Uh, those will both be hub to hub connections and then we'll be able to connect the hub up to the baggage depot here and here, which will then have, um, you know, our hangers that are going to service all of this. So not bad at all, really, uh, when you think about it. You know, once you uh, start to really understand and learn the logistics of this, it's really not that hard to uh, to kind of throw it down real quick and uh, get it in here. Let's go ahead and clear out these extra walls that are popping up. Of course, that'll have to go here in a minute. Okay, so let's clear out. Let's go into utilities, clear utilities. Um, I need to get rid of... That, this whole line, and this whole line. Well, hang on. I just need to get rid of this whole line. And get rid of it to there. Okay. And then I'll have, which of course I can't place anything down yet, but I will be able to here in a little bit. Alright, so we've got this working, we've got that working. Now, while this stuff is being done, let's go ahead and look at our flights. I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to really schedule anything yet, I don't think. I, I think I want to uh, to go ahead and at least look at what I've got. Um, so by selecting the large gate, that will get me to what I need. There's a lot of PM in here in AM. 767 and 707. So a 767 is 250. That's a lot. Um, and a 707 is 180. I think that's what we're going to be dealing with throughout all of these. Here's a morning, noon, and night from Sparkjet. I like that. I'm debating whether or not I want to have... Like, does Sparkjet have small ones too? They do. So we have 737s with, uh, with this. I don't have a 737 here. Let's just look at all of them. Aircraft type. Okay, let's let's pull Spark Jet back up. Or was it what? Where'd it go? Where did you go? There it is, Spark Jet. So Spark Jet actually has six flights available. Um, I have oh the 737 is okay. I just wasn't hovering over it apparently. So 140 passengers. 707 has 180. That honestly, that wouldn't be too bad. To have Sparkjet on one, let's see, let's go with, let's go up here real quick while they're still constructing on all of that. Um, so I have Lernyville Air on those two, Aerotime on this one. Aerotime is a small, do I have any more for Aerotime? I have an evening one, ooh. And I can actually, I can, ooh, I could use that. Okay, so PM, small, 975 passenger. Okay, we'll take that one. The more our airline interest goes up, I, I keep forgetting that, you know, some of these other airlines have added flights into here. So I need to go back and, and relook at the, some of this. Um, gate B2, I still don't have anything. Interesting. Do I have anything for Lernerville? Oh my god. I've got a ton. Oh, these are all the Beach 1900s. See, I just, I don't feel like that that's enough. I don't. I don't think it's warranted for that. I'm gonna need something else. <laughs> really, I'm gonna need something else. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, Gate C1 is a Ford Air. Let's go to large. Let's go to a Ford Air. First of all, let me slow the game down just a tad. Um, I don't have any more. Do I have any small ones for a Ford Air? I do have small ones for a Ford Air. So I could put some of those in their Boeing 737s, which is 140 passengers. I like this. 
I like this. Okay, so 2 a.m., one afternoon, and one evening. Okay, let's take all of them. So then I'll just place, let's place the AM one here. We'll shorten that by, a, eh, let's open that back up just a tad. Put that there. And it's going to butt right up against that. So we can take this afternoon flight, push it back a little. And then this afternoon flight can just fit kind of right snug in between all of that. And then we can put the evening flight in here. Perfect. Okay. So that takes care of gate C1. That's a Ford Air. I don't really think there's anything else that we can put in here. I mean, if that takes care of, let's see, where is there's aero time, a Ford Air. Yeah, that's everything for air for uh, a Ford Air. OK. Trying to keep these airlines to the same, you know, gate, at least. <laughs> um, before, I was just kind of, you know, just throwing everything everywhere and it just didn't make any sense. And. I think this makes a little bit more sense because that's kind of how a regular airport operates. Uh, so let's see. So Pacific Air. No, that's all crap. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? First, let's go to large. Okay, Atlantic International. Wow. It's a lot of evening flights, but I'll take all of them. Now, Atlantic International, do they have small flights? They do, and they're two, there's a morning flight, it's a Boeing 737, and an A320. So an A320, so there's 140 and 150. Okay, so we'll take both of those two. All right, so we'll make that gate C2. So we'll go ahead and add in, pause the game. <laughs> Let me place these in here real quick. Um, let's go there, there, and here. Now, I've noticed that they still haven't added early morning flights yet, so I'm not entirely sure what they're doing with those yet. Oh, we just have to wait and see. Um, one or more flight is not scheduled yet. Oh, well, I'm scheduling it now. Knock it off. All right, we're going to stop with those flights for now. Um, because, God, only seven. What? Yeah, we're not making a whole lot of money right now. Um, all right, so we have the flights in here. Uh, let's go ahead and now that all of this is built, let's clear out these extra walls. Get back up here. I wish the scrolling speed would be a little bit faster. Okay. All right, and we have disconnected this, so that needs to be hub to hub. That needs to be a consumer. Utility conveyor, you will come down to here. Two-way conveyor for hub to hub will go up to there to there. And then this is still hub to hub, so you're going to come down this way. And can't do anything until that gets cleared out. I should be able to... Where's my baggage depot? Here. Okay. Baggage depot will go up. Um, I think that's where I want that to go. Either or, that's fine. Because I can work my way around that. And then baggage hub also, or baggage depot, also needs to go over here. Underground fuel tank. Interesting. I'm liking that, though. So we'll have that go there. That's actually perfect. Walls cleared out. Baggage hub. Am I going to be able to put this down here with that? No, I'm not. Okay, there we go. That that works now. I just had to add a little uh, little extra wall in there, a little extra foundation. So that is now fixed. So we have our hub to hub there. So we're going to go... Uh, that's going to be a consumer. This is actually going to be a producer. So we'll have a conveyor come down this way to that way to that way. And then we'll have conveyor come down here. 
have it come down this way to to there. Thank y'all. All right, two-way conveyor, hub to hub, coming down this way. Actually, hang on, is that a hub to hub? Yes, it is. Just had to make sure. All right, so we'll have our hub to hub come down this way. Where's my uh, Where's my line? There it is. All right, so we'll have you go there. Um, crap, I'm gonna have to. Dang it! <laughs> this This is what I get for not planning this out correctly. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be fine. I really did. Um, we'll have that go to there. We'll increase the priority on that real quick to urgent. That way I can go ahead and get this in here. Um, not entirely sure which one's going to be which here. Objects, utilities, conveyor. Okay, so it'll be pro consumer on that one and then producer on this one. I don't want to go too close because I don't want to... Risk getting it wrong. Okay, objects, utilities. We can get this done, please, very quickly. Thank you. Okay, baggage hub here. Then we'll change you hub to hub. You will be a consumer. You will be already a producer, so we're good there. No, I said producer. Thank you. That way I can get that hooked up. Appreciate that very much. Uh, and then I should, let's see, that needs to be connected. And then I think that's it. I think we actually have everything else done. All right, let's, um, first of all, before, before anything else happens right now, because I know we've got a lot of flights coming in here. Um, let's assign all of this stuff up. So we'll assign you to there, and then we're going to take you and assign you to D. Okay, so that's all three of those. Um, we are going to assign vehicles. We will add a baggage car onto each of those, and then a baggage car onto each of these. Okay, assign vehicles. Okay. And then what's show reachable objects. Okay, cool. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. That I'm happy with. <laughs> I don't understand why y'all are going all the way over there. Doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever. Um, the baggage will, will sort itself out here eventually. So how are we doing on security and everything else? Now that we've added a few flights in here. It looks like security seems to be handling itself pretty well. Let's slow the game down here real fast. Um, let's staff, finance hub, I want operations. Transport deliveries, runways, fuel service, maintenance, transport capacity. All right, so the capacity coming in is fine. Uh, we are currently at 8.06 in the morning. We are at 8 a.m. Passenger peak demand 76, 67. Now, mind you, we haven't really done anything with our new stuff yet. Oh, this would be why people are only going in that line because we only have security officers for there. All right, so let's go ahead and hire more security then. Do I have all of my ticketing open? Okay, manage schedule. Now, this is something that we're really going to need to get into here in a little bit. Um, I think next episode we might get into, like, the whole scheduling thing because I need... Boy, do I need to get some some stuff done. We'll have to kind of wait and see, really, how I do with uh, these flights and everything. So, manage schedules. Let's go. All of this needs to be open. Can I just... I wish I could click and drag, but I can't. I'm having to select every single one of these. Okay, so that should be fine. That should... Oops, I didn't even realize that that needed someone. Okay. So operational hours should now have everybody assigned. Okay. So security staff, 17 more. Totally okay with that. Okay. Totally gonna, well, I was thinking I was gonna lose money, but making $96,000 a day now, that's good. 
And now that we have all of the people here that we need, we might be okay. We very well might be okay. Especially if I can get, um, if I can get these security people in here. Why are you yelling at me? Oh, I need one more person. Okay. So we'll hire you. All right. There's all our security people. So that should now allow passengers to come into here. We have first class going here. Actually, you know what? So first class doesn't have to walk all the way down. Let's go ahead and create, let's go ahead and put a door. Let's put a sliding door here. Granted, I'm pretty sure these passengers are going to come into here and walk down here instead of using this. But, I don't know, I'm kind of hoping that that doesn't happen. I can always take these, uh... I can always take these lines and put them right up against the door. No? No, first class went in there? Okay. Okay, yeah, that works. That makes it easier for first class. Perfect. All right, we have the uh, baggage carousels working. I think and I hope we have baggage working throughout. I do need to get some more ticketing kiosks in here. Let's go ticketing kiosk. Um, let's go ahead and add one, two, three, four. Four. Okay. Oh, are these not assigned to, uh, are these not assigned to the queue? That one's not assigned to the queue. Okay, that one can be assigned to that queue. You need to be assigned to that queue. Okay. Uh, you can be assigned to that queue. And as a matter of fact, that you're assigned to that queue and you should be first class only. Okay, you're already assigned to that queue, to that one, to that one, to that one. Okay. Apparently I, I missed a step in here. And then you should be, you're assigned to that one, to that one. Oops, to that one, to that one, to that one. Okay. Uh, how are we doing on bags here? Are we good on bags? I have bags coming down the conveyors down this way. Um, do I have bags being utilized here? Let's go ahead and get rid of this planning stuff here. That way we can see everything that's happening. Get rid of all that. I mean, I am seeing baggage going in through here and off of this one, so that's good. Probably not going to see anything over here because we don't have anything assigned to those gates, which makes total sense. Okay. Uh, but we are seeing baggage come in through here, which is good. Perfect. These guys are working very well over here. Doesn't seem like we have a whole lot of stress happening uh, throughout the airport. Airline interest has gone up to 67%. No, oh, I think we're I think we're doing okay here. Um, looks like we have everybody boarding, which is good. What about the previous day? What about yesterday? Hundred percent boarded. Wow. Don't we get like some kind of bonus for that? Um, we do. A perfect ops bonus. We got forty four thousand dollars yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry. That was... Oh, never mind. We haven't... Ooh. Okay, so this is telling us... Oh, okay, okay. Um, number of flights delayed is zero. No, I had eight flights delayed. Oh, wow. Okay, so it actually gives you... It tells you what happened on each day. Huh. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty freaking awesome. So it starts out at a small amount, and then obviously the more days you do it, the more bonus you get. I like it. I like bonus money. We all, anyone who is in any job likes any type of bonus money. You know, it's just extra money that you get. Uh, now, looking over here at security, this actually 
believe it or not, is working out pretty well. Um, not entirely sure about the whole bag, the not bag scanner, but body scanner thing. I mean, it's all right, but um, nah, it's okay. It's it's okay. I'm I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Uh, let's see, we have people using the vending machine area. I have okay. Let's look at the stuff coming in for C here. Is there a way for me to sort by f stuff? Can I not sort this? I wish I could. It'd be nice. Um, when it sorts it by departure time and everything, I just I can't. I don't like that. Anyway. So for C2, we have 107, 147 people. That one's on its final approach. It's taxing now. Um, C2 has one coming in. C1 doesn't have one for a little while. It's 201 passengers. Well, it currently... Oh, it just got someone. Okay. So that one's on... The passengers that are here, I mean, it's not too bad. So passenger flow, this is like a friggin' mess. <laughs> um, okay. So we do have some connecting flight passengers that are that are on here and waiting. Okay. So where are the passengers for highlight passengers? So the passengers for this flight in itself, we actually still ooh, we still have some people checking in. So scheduled departure time or departure 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 time for this is 8 p.m. Um, not bad, really. You know, yeah, people are, are coming in late and everything, but our transit capacity and everything is fine. So we don't really have to worry about that. Uh, it's just people showing up late. You know, that's 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 all it is. Uh, but it looks like everyone's going to make it on time, though. OK. Cool. And really, throughout this entire day, knock on wood, we've been fine. There's not a whole lot of, uh, not a whole lot of issues with flights. Did we, or have we, have we missed anything on the bonus today? Am I going to know this? No, I'm not going to know this until it actually happens. Dang it. Well, I mean, if I look at this, I mean, I wouldn't know if anything was delayed or anything like that, but, you know, I show what's departed, I show what's at the gate, I show how many passengers were, you know, on the flight and everything. C1 does have 201 passengers that are going to be boarding it, so let's highlight those passengers. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay. I I think we can add some additional flights in here. I really do. So airline interest. Um, let me let me pause the game because it's nine o'clock at night, and I want to make sure that we get all these new flights that we add on uh, for tomorrow. So Sparkjet, did I not? No, I haven't done anything with Sparkjet yet. Um, Rexicana. WestJet, Starfly, Aerostar. These are all for... I don't have a whole lot for... Um, this is all I have for large. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. Come on, you finicky thing. Okay. Ah, come on. All right, so I have... One, two, three. I have four gates available to me. Um, rating, I think we'll go with WestJet. Since, you know, we have a high rating with them. Um, it says they have three flights here, but I'm only seeing the one. They have a Boeing 707. Oh, they have two small flights. Okay. Well, let's just accept all of those. Bombardier Dash 850. And that's what? 
an afternoon flight. So we'll just take all those. So we'll put WestJet. I wish I could put WestJet there, but... Is that really going to allow me to do that? It shouldn't. Requires afternoon time slot. Oh, okay. This one is invalid. Got it. All right, so WestJet will have... Okay, so we'll keep WestJet at two gates then. No, I'm not going to do that. That's invalid as well. Okay. Fine. So we'll put WestJet there. I will put... See, I have three runways, so I think I should be okay. Um, put WestJet there, and where's my last one out here? It is. So we'll put that one down here. Okay. Pacific Airlines. No. Oh, wait a second. We have A320s available, which is 150. I might want to give them some. I'm not sure yet. Not entirely sure yet. Do I have any more aero time available? I don't see any. Atlantic International. No. No Afford Air. Juno Connect. Let me go with large ones again here. Um, okay, Sparkjet has six flights. And... They have some small ones on what what are the small ones that Sparkjet has? They're Boeing 737s. So we're actually gonna take all of those. I'm gonna take all six of them. So with Sparkjet we'll go, let's put one here. There. Uh, let's go with that evening one, this evening one, this one, and this one. Now, these ones that are, let's see, that 50 passenger one, we can take that time way down. 142, ooh, 250. Atlantic International... 180, 180. Let's push a couple of these out. And let's extend that one out a little bit. Um, I should have, okay, that one, those are down as low as they can go. 250, okay, so let's push that back. And put that one in there. I really need to kind of watch my times here because if I'm keeping some of these too long or if I'm not keeping them long enough, it's going to cause issues. Um, Rexicana actually has some pretty decent, they're Boeing 707s, which is 180 max on each of them. And they're at 61%. Well, let's go ahead and accept all of those. Uh, this is where it kind of concerns me a little bit because I have so many flights trying to come in around the same time. So arrival time, 6 a.m., 6.20, 6.10, 6.20, a.m., 6 a.m., 6 a.m., 6.10. Uh, let's go with 6.20 then. We'll add our second morning flight. Let's kind of add that one in around, like, around there. The afternoon flight we'll just kind of throw in the middle, and then the evening flight we will definitely throw kind of, like, right there. 180 max. I think two hours on each of those should be okay. I have one more large gate available. But I don't want to overcrowd the system too much. I really don't. Um, 
I feel like I need one runway for arrivals and one for departures, but I want to... I kind of want to play this out a little to kind of see how it works tomorrow. Or not tomorrow. You know what I mean. The in-game tomorrow. <laughs> not not tomorrow tomorrow. Not tomorrow's episode. We're, we're going to take care of this today. This is definitely a much longer episode than what we're used to. That's for sure. Um, I have a feeling our money is definitely going to skyrocket tomorrow. We have... I mean, there's so many passengers coming in through here, too. All right, so transit demand is going to be a little high. Hang on. All right, so transit deliveries. Buses I have every 30 minutes. Um, I don't have any light rail yet. Let's, let's go ahead and do every 20 minutes on buses. I'm hoping that's going to help. Uh, commercial pricing, runways, hold on, transit. Yeah, that definitely helped. Okay, that definitely boosted us up to where we need it to be. So starting at 3.30 in the morning, we have 221 passengers coming in here. Oh my God, okay. But by looking at this though, we have a very small amount of passengers coming in around this time. So next schedule, we're going to look at this and we're going to see kind of where our peak is and everything, where we're going to need more open stations versus less open stations when it comes to uh, our security, our, um, our desks, so all of that kind of stuff, because I don't want to have to keep paying these people to be here when they don't need to be. Um, I just saw something that was incorrect as well. So let's manage the schedules here real quick. Operational hours. We're going to need to ensure that all of this is taken care of. And then closed hours. Yeah, see, some things have gotten messed up here. <laughs> oh, let's, uh, let's, let's get this fixed here. Go down a level. Oh, yeah. See, we need to... We're paying way too much money for these guys. Way too much. They're here like 24 hours. Which is not good. Closed hours. Okay. All right. That should do it. So we now should have full staff for right now. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that these need to be on a different schedule because if the flights themselves aren't actually getting here until 6 a.m., why are those guys there? Like, do they really need to be there? Yeah, we'll, we'll fiddle with, uh, scheduling here on the next, um, next episode, making $186,000 now with all of this. That's good. Okay, we're going to need employees. Yep, we need eight more. Uh, eight more. Okay. All right. So how are the stresses handling all of this stuff? We're actually doing okay. I'm going to bump that out a little bit because I don't like it. Stores seem to be doing okay. We have some flight info displays that people are looking at, so that's good. I think we might need to add a few more of these around, though. So let's do... let's check out... Um, Oh, let's see. What if I were to do like a flight info display? I wish it would be like hanging from a wall, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. Um, let's do a flight info. Actually, let's do a flight info kiosk. Here. <laughs> you know, when people come out of security and everything, they'll do a flight info kiosk. Um, currently... 
Where are we at on this? Okay, not bad. Did we make our full, um, did we make our money? No, we did not make our money on day 35. We had 15 passengers miss their flights. Dang it. Well, that's just annoying. Security and everything is working out well. They may not be walking fast enough. So I might want to might want to think about adding in some moving walkways around this area maybe. Just just maybe. You know, I'm not not entirely sure that it will help for sure, but it's very possible that it might. Everything seems to be working okay though. Capacity seems to be doing all right. Let's look at our flights. When do we have, um, I'm not seeing a whole lot of people that are going to be coming in at one time. So 3.30 in the afternoon is the peak demand for people and it's 232. We've got, <laughs> we've got plenty to handle that. Um, I mean, this in itself, it was 176 at 3.30 in the morning. Peak transit demand is 232. Hang on. But this is departure demand is at 170. So we're totally cool. We're good. Um, Which is awesome. I love it. Oh, no. This one got canceled. Why? Why did that one get canceled? Deep plane and clean. Oh, something must have happened. Dang it. I don't like that. I don't like it when that happens. Uh, let's see. So this one scheduled arrival time was early. Baggage load is what we're waiting on. Which we just got 100% boarded. Done. Good to go. 100% lo loaded. Loaded. Alright, so we did have one cancellation. I don't think that was any fault of ours, though. I really don't. I think that was just a uh, issue. Possibly. But okay. I mean, that's great, though. I mean, we have all of these flights in here. We have so many flights. We have so many flights. We're making some decent amount of money now. Hopefully we can get ourselves out of the red, but, you know, doubtful. <laughs> um, we'll just have to wait and see. But I think, uh, yeah, we're done for today. This is a very long episode, so thank you so much for joining me for this episode today. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.